Hi, in this video we'll be adding a custom C header file to a project in Codeblocks. If you don't have Codeblocks already installed on your system, check out the video I made on setting it up. I'll leave a link to it in the description below and the screen card which can be found by clicking on the icon in the top right corner. Header files are usually the first lines found at the top of the program which allow you to import functionalities found in other code files without having to copy it into your program. The ones typically used are the standard header files, aka system header files, which provide access to the underlying system resources and is bundled along with the compiler, for example stdio.h. These standard headers are generally stored in the standard folder along with other common header files. The typical preprocessor notation to include these standard headers is pound sign include followed by opening angle bracket then the name of the header file and the closing angle bracket. These allow you to access the aforementioned standard headers which are located in a central location. Alternatively, you can include custom header files in your own project which are located in the projects folder. This is the same as before except that you use quotation marks instead of the angle brackets. We'll create a sample project in Codeblocks and add a custom header file to it in one of two ways. First we'll add an external file that already exists. Right click on the desktop and create a new text file. Rename it to adder.h and open up the file. We'll add a simple function to it that'll add two digits together. Now we'll add this file to our project folder. First, right click on the project folder and click on open project folder in file browser. Click in the address bar and copy the location. Open a new explorer window by pressing Windows E. Paste the file location that you just copied in the address window and press enter to open the location. Now drag the custom header file into the project folder. Back in the IDE, we'll add the include adder.h preprocessor notation. Now when we build a project, it should build successfully if you've added the header file properly. We can call the function which we added in our header file from our program and see the results. Next up, we'll create a header file using the IDE. In the IDE, click on File, New, File. Select C, C++ header in the dialog window and click Go. Click on the ellipses next to the file name with full path text box and give it name of multiply.h. Check the option called add file to active project and add select debug and release build. Click on finish. This will include some flags to prevent duplication of header files which we can ignore. Write our code as previously. Now return to our main.c file and add another preprocessor. Include multiply.h. Now add the following code to test it out. When you build and run the code, you'll see that our program has the functionality of both header files without having to write any of the code. If you found this helpful, please like and share the video and subscribe to my channel. If not, let me know in the comments as well. Thank you for watching. Bye.